The city of Philadelphia lost hundreds of people to gun violence last year and in North Philadelphia for the next two weeks. There's a public display to honor them. Students did the majority of the setting up today and they are hoping to send a message to the community. Our Kelly Rule was there. St. Joseph's Prep senior Antoine Robinson puts a t-shirt in the ground for 45-year-old Jason Dixon, who died in November 2023, to a shooting. A familiar pain for Antoine's family, he lost his cousin Georgie several years ago. Just seeing the pain and suffering that it caused my aunt, my uncle, and just my whole family in general, I just, it just it hits hard. It affects everyone somehow, even if you don't see it. 340 brightly colored t-shirts now cover the plaza outside St. Joseph's Prep, stretching down Gerard Avenue, displaying the names and ages of lives lost to gun violence in Philadelphia in 2023. Children as young as 12 years old. It's their second year partnering with their neighbor, the Jesu School, and heeding God's call to end gun violence, who brings the displays across the Delaware Valley, a space they will share with the community. Last year, we had a woman out here who asked if she could rearrange her shirts to have her family members be together. That not only is a reminder of this public health crisis, but it's also a reminder of the real lives that are impacted for us. Gun violence manifests itself in the city, different than in rural, rural communities. There's a mental health element to it also, so it connects a lot of different issues. Students spent the morning putting the t-shirts on display. The schools say it's an opportunity to bring in speakers and an important discussion during school hours. People on my street have been shot and killed. It's, it's really bad. Or if I'm, out, if I'm out late, then, you know, I'm just scared that something could happen to me. Antal Cole lives in Philadelphia. He's hopeful for a city united on the issue. It shouldn't be about Republicans or Democrats. It's something we should all come together, you know, to say, hey, we can't keep doing this. We can't keep losing people. We can't keep losing children. We can't be scared to go on the street because we're scared we're going to get shot. So I think we all need to talk about it more and unite and say this is wrong. The display will be here open to the public until May 17th, and we're told a similar display will go up this weekend in Bryn Mawr. Reporting in North Philadelphia, I'm Kelly Rule, Fox 29 News. A display in North Philadelphia is serving as a reminder, a somber reminder of the impact of gun violence in our community. Brightly colored t-shirts bear the names, ages, and the dates of death for some 340 people. These are victims of gun violence in Philadelphia during 2023. The display stretches from 17th to 18th Street along Girard Avenue. The memorial is a joint effort by St. Joseph's Prep and the J. Sue School. A display in North Philadelphia is serving as a somber reminder of the impact of gun violence in our community. Brightly colored t-shirts bear the names, ages, and the dates of death for 340 people. These are all victims of gun violence in Philadelphia during 2023. The display stretches from 17th to 18th Street along Girard Avenue. The memorial is a joint effort by St. Joseph's Prep and Jesu School.